Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Tata Indigo Marina and it was another variant of the Indica. So you can just say it an Indica station wagon version. And as you can see, it looks like an Indica at the front. I would have opened the engine bay, but that's not opening right now. Meanwhile, the tires, as you can see, are extremely on the smaller side. 175, 65, 14. No nonsense. The good part, of course, is that this is a station wagon, which means that you can carry a lot more luggage inside the car. And I'm sorry about this, but uh, people just photo bombing, video bombing. So the name is an Indigo. I is missing. And Marina LX is the variant. TD60 is i think it produces 60 horsepower but somewhere i read it produces 70 horsepower so you can decide at your own discretion what is the power vertical tail lights and again this will remind you of the indica you got roof rails as well so in terms of design this car really wasn't impressive although this was one of a kind station wagon let's open this which means that i have to actually put the key inside to open it and i'm just so bad at this yeah here we go oh god i'm so sorry here we go again Yep. Okay, this is not working, the struts. But you see, the boot carrying capacity is quite decent as such. Now, of course, this is having auto close boot, which is quite cool. Huh? The tailgate closes on its own. No central locking in this car, uh, which means I cannot get inside. I will try to do that from the other side. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, this is not unlocking the car. So I have to put my hand here and do it. Now, of course, uh, all these features were not expected when this car was launched, so there's nothing wrong with that. And now we finally open the door. Now, I kid you not, when I applied brakes, these seats went forward and they dropped back. Let me put them back. Actually, there's decent amount of space on offer. Quite comfortable too. And this seems like an ashtray. There's an ashtray here. Power windows on all the doors too. Seats are decently comfortable. You can recline it if you want to carry more luggage. And the floor is not completely flat meanwhile i have to credit durga car decor here in pune for lending me this tata indigo marina which is kind of a classic car now because that old storage space door pockets have not much things but you see where are the power window controls well they are in the center right there seats are actually quite comfortable decently comfortable lot of buttons here these are of course for the lights i believe and i think for the rear wiper too because when they designed the indica they never thought they'd make a station wagon version Dashboard design, as you can see, has aged quite a lot and the color has changed from what was beige earlier to right now being beige with sort of black finishing. Glove box was lockable, storage space inside is decent, there are a couple of remotes too. I think that is aftermarket and I think this is also aftermarket for sure. Air conditioning, nothing much to talk about as such, but when I turn on the car, you can hear a lot. So here we go. Clutch lock. Yeah, there you see the instrument cluster. There's a digital display which is obviously for the odometer and the trip meters and everything is analog. The design really needed a lot of work back in the day. No auto dimming inside your view mirror. Some of these things I'm actually quite wary of touching as well because yeah, there's no mirror on the driver's side. The driver did not want to see his face of course while driving this car. The fuel economy was of course pretty nice and decent. In fact, it would re return somewhere around almost 18 to 19 kilometers per liter. This switch is for, I think, headlight leveler and there's storage space below here. So you just see anywhere and everywhere Tata Motors used to put a storage space. But otherwise, there's not much storage space inside this car. Power window controls, like I told you, there's storage space there as well. This should open. Yeah, it opens. There's space here as well. I think that's an ashtray. But that's that. Well, let's just get driving, shall we? All right, let's start the car. Yeah, there it literally rose to life. Uh, we are not actually driving a car, we are driving a tractor because that's the level of sound from this Tata Indigo Marina. And the reason for all this sound is quite obvious, which is that this engine is supremely noisy. Now, this doesn't have a common rail. I'm actually full on the throttle. And because it has good amount of torque, it gets going really hard and fast. But somehow the clutch is so hard, it's so hard, it's like you are pressing a rock every time. But the accelerator pedal is also very hard. So that's like the speed alarm in older cars. This actually has a speed alert system without even having one. Because every time I get into the throttle, I have to take another additional effort to get going. Now what Tata did was launch this car with three engines. Yeah, that's right. Three freaking engines. 
one was a petrol which absolutely nobody cared about and two were diesels one is of course this one both were 1.4s and uh, one was a tdi which again is this one produces 70 ps of power and 132 newton meters of torque the other one was the dicor which is a common rail engine which produced 6 newton meters of additional torque making it slightly better but what was the main point of that dicor engine not the performance obviously it was slightly better but it was absolutely more refined and you know when i'm saying refined is nothing as refined as what is today's modern diesel cars but compared to this one which has no refinement whatsoever it was really very refined so this is of course not really a performance car because the gearbox is extremely notchy the clutch is so heavy and the engine well it makes its presence felt in every given moment however there is good amount of torque which means that although there is some amount of lag it's quite well controlled mid-range feels strong this car was really very fuel efficient would return somewhere around 20 kilometers per liter so while driving in the city you would realize that you could you could just drive it very comfortably yes there is amount lot of amount of sound also coming in but as a practical alternative the indigo marina was absolutely something which was unseen and unheard of because Tata Motors engineers had no work on those days what they did was they took the indigo and they started making a lot of cars there was the indigo XL indigo marina and the variants were like absolutely crazy so many variants I'm hard to the throttle everything is fine till you hit 3000 rpm after 3000 rpm now it becomes even more vocal but this isn't a fast driving motor per se there you go see there's the noise brakes are decent actually I'm quite surprised the brakes are decent and the pedals feel like a rock but the brakes don't feel like a rock which is <laughs> actually a good thing meanwhile the ride is quite good that's actually a usp steering has absolutely no feel or feedback so there was no concept of feel or feedback back in those days when tata motors launched this car actually yeah taking a u-turn could be some amount of effort now we're going to take a reverse which is another sort of an effort here we are into reverse you see the steering actually feels heavy because I believe it's an hydraulic unit but still car is easy to drive because visibility is good and I've stalled it I have stalled it yeah I have stalled it please wait sir first time driver did we put a L plate on this car I think I should here we go come on left foot on the brake no 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 if it was any other car now nah, I would have reached my destination by now but not on this one it takes its own sweet time to get going but then Tata cars were not known for that and look at the irony we're driving an Indigo Marina and there is the Indigo ECS the amount of variants which were available of this car were absolutely staggering I honestly don't know why Tata launched so many variants where they're like okay you know what we can make a station wagon you know what we can make a limousine the XL and I'm not kidding the Indigo XL actually competed with the Mercedes Maybach S650 V12 I'm just kidding obviously I'm kidding because the size of the hood of the Maybach and the full length of that car is exactly the same yeah that was like sub 4 meter this is not sub 4 meter by the way this is not sub 4 meter I remember my girlfriend that time in school days her best friend had bought an indigo marina and she said she bought a honda city and i was also having a honda city so when i went to the honda dealership for service there she had come in the indigo marina to take a test drive and i was like what why didn't you even tell me that maybe you know the image issue back in those days now of course tata motors has come a long way and after driving this car the tiago the tigor all of them feel like a different generation all together come on baby It actually revs past four and a half thousand RPM, but this TDI motor is not about performance. It's about efficiency, and it was also very attractively priced. The problem in those days were that there were not many diesel alternatives, and now, of course, we are again reaching the same situation of not having many diesel alternatives. But as I see it, the Indigo Marina used to attract a different set of buyers who wanted a station wagon, but they had no other option. Obviously, you had more expensive options. Actually, you don't have any option. Not even the expensive ones because the whole system was so restricted and that's that and i think that you know let's just jump into some other car because i'm done with this tata indigo marina i don't know why they call it marina maybe it should drown in the ocean or something of that sort i'm so sorry all you tata fans but tata motors old cars really needed a lot of work i'm glad they've come a long way although the image spoiled by such cars can't be changed can't be rectified so soon either and on that bombshell it's time to end bye bye just check what I said. Yeah. Camera was I fine.